because my sims never ever have jaws yet yeah, look at her father he could open a jaw store he's got jaw to spare what are we going to be working with Hey my little peaches, welcome back to a new video and um, welcome to a new cast video. I fancied playing around a little bit in cast. I was originally going to do a cast uh, CC makeover of your guys' sims that you've been uploading under Claire Siobhan makeovers, but I thought I would save that one till next week. And today I thought I would try a challenge that I've not done for a little while. It is a random genetics challenge. So if you guys don't know what this is, you take two sims and you randomize their features and then the child that you end up with, you go ahead and slap a little CC on and see if you can turn them into something. Cool. Like, we've had quite a lot of success with this challenge in the past, so I'm hoping today will be no different. I'm actually going to be using Claire Siobhan Bays for this. So this is Sims that you guys have uploaded under the Claire Siobhan Bays hashtag. I didn't want to use the makeover hashtag because I want to save those ones just for makeovers. And we're going to be combining the genetics together and seeing what we end up with. So if you guys are excited for this challenge, please don't forget to give it a little cheeky thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any other challenges you would like me to do. Also, you guys are often asking about the shader that I use in my game. This is actually the bright shader. So if you search Sims for reshader and search for bright, I believe this is the one that I am using right here. I'm actually having a little bit of an issue with my shader in that every time I leave it and restart Sims, I have to reapply all of my settings to it. I don't know why it started doing that, but it started doing it a couple of months ago. It's very annoying. But if you guys want to see the difference it makes to my game with and without it, it looks like this. So it just adds a bunch of saturation and I use my like keys here to turn it on and off. I actually want to switch soon to the brand new Rockout Vulcan keyboard, which is a miniature keyboard and I've been spilling so much stuff on my desk. I feel like a miniature keyboard will help me out so much with space. However, I need to rebind some of my keys in order to still be able to turn my reshaders on and off. So once I've done that, I will be switching over to this. I know you guys are always interested in what the stuff I use is, so I thought I would let you guys know. Okay, let's get into today's challenge. So you guys have uploaded some beautiful sims here. I feel like this is going to help us. However, I'm also going to randomize all of the features. So I don't know quite how much the help will be in the long run, but we'll give it a go. Okay, so this is a cute sim here. This is by Amanda. Amanda Santiago. They've used the Claire Siobhan hashtags and their sim is called Lemons, which I thought was kind of cute. So we'll go ahead and pop the, uh, her in. And then I also need a flap for this baby. Okay, this is Logan Schaffner by Archery Manic. They've used their Claire Siobhan hashtags as well. So we're gonna make a little barbara root out of these guys. He did have CC on. It's fine. It's all gone. It's okay. And then I believe I have to randomize their features. Let me just double check this real quick. Oh, I've done this before. Oh my god. Gosh, I forgot I used to put that on. <laughs> okay, here we go. The mum and dad are going to be randomized. So we have to randomize each individual bit of them before we get our child sim. And then with the child sim, we have to keep like their base, like their bone structure and the, the person they are has to stay the same, but we can change their makeup and their hair. Okay, their okay. Face. Thank you, Claire from the past for explaining that to us. That video was from 2017. I'd forgotten how to do it, but luckily Claire from the past hadn't. Okay, so let's randomize their features. Should I do their head shape or is that going to change them too much. One, two, three. Okay, not bad. And then one, two, three. Okay, and then one, two, three. And then one, two, three. I'm sorry that you're losing your sim that you created so much. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Oh, big ears. And then one, two, three. Okay. I still think she's pretty cute, you know? I actually think she's ended up very, very cute there. I don't think I can randomize skin tone, but I can randomize bodies. So one, two, three. Okay, there we go. So we've got our randomized sim. I don't think there's any other features to randomize. I think you can randomize a neck. And I don't want to do like the whole face because then that will like just change like every part of her face, which we don't want to do. Can I randomize teeth? Oh, I can. One, two, three. Okay. Can I give her a scar? One, two, three. Scars aren't genetic. This stuff's more just for fun, really. Weirdly enough, I can't randomize cheek scars. I can't randomize eyes. Oh, I can. One, two, three. Why can you just not randomize cheek scars? That's so random. Mouth scars, one, two, three. Okay, she's ended up very scarred. And I know it doesn't count, but let's at least give her some beautiful air for her. One, two, three. Okay, really showing off those ears there. This looks like me in primary school, to be honest. Okay, so there we go. We have our randomized sim. I've done her brow, her jaw, her lips, her nose, her eyes, her ears, the whole shebang. Okay, let's go ahead and do a Logan now. Okay, I think I know what skin details you have on. I think you have on the supermodel one. But will that change? Let's find out. Oh, can I actually do his eyebrows? One, two, three. Oh, it's just gonna lose them. Okay. Head shape. One, two, three. And then eyes. One, two, three. Okay. And then nose. 
One, two, three. Oh, he's ended up with a really nice nose. Well done. And then, oh, cheek. Did I do it last time? I think I did. One, two, three. And jaw. One, two, three. Oh, okay, that's a long jaw. <laughs> okay, mouth. One, two, three. Okay, and then ears. Ears always end up big for me. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. And then he's freaking huge before. How will he end up afterwards? One, two, three. Okay, it's definitely slimmed him down quite a lot. And then, oh, you've gone shorter as well. Okay, teeth. One, two, three. Okay, brow scars. One, two, three. Oh, none. Oh, your skin details are covering them. <laughs> will these show? One, two, three. No, they won't. And will these show? One, two, three. Okay, there we go. He is done. He's ended up quite different to how he was before. But let's go ahead and see what they create with their genetics. I'm going to go for a grill first. I might do a boy one after. My genetics slows my game down so much. I don't know why it does this, but whenever I go to genetics, everything grinds to a halt. Okay, so we're going to make a girl that is a teenager okay and the parent is gonna be lemons mila lemons here oh wow well, slow let us wait again i've realized i don't have a coffee i don't have a peach juice i don't have anything to keep me occupied while we wait for these genetics to blend it's like baking a pie isn't it okay and then should i do one two three again oh my gosh maybe this was a bad idea <laughs> two come on come on you got this you got this and then oh she's cute actually three i could keep her because the first one technically counts as one ah she's kind of cute too though but no the first one it created was number one so that was two and three so technically it is this girl is number three okay let's go ahead and check her out her surname is schnaffer and her first name is one two three sierra schnaffer her random traits are the wait one two three even the traits take a while in my game jeez she is a outgoing adventurous sim and we'll go one and then two and then three okay deviants one two three Okay, she's a chief of mischief, a mischievous adventurous sim. Those brows, lady. Okay, I'm gonna take everything off so we can start again. You've got your mother's lips. You've got your mother's lips. Somehow you ended up with no jaw, but you had very jawy parents. So yet again, I feel like there's a bug in this game when it comes to jaws, because my sims never, ever have jaws. Yet look at her father. He could open a jaw store. He's got jaw to spare, you know? Uh, let's have a look at the mum's jaw. I mean, hers is definitely more petite, but it's still there. So why on earth did did her jaw end up so tiny? Like, tell me this is not a game bug. This has got to be a jaw-based bug in the game. I just don't get it. Like, I feel like her jaw should be a little bit longer. I got a bug in my game. It's very annoying. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna have a look at her brows. She's got quite angular brows. Ooh, straight away we're getting some nicer shapes going on there. And I'm just gonna throw on all my favorites. You guys know them now. We like an obscurus brow. We do, we do, we do. We like a go pulls me brow. We do, we do, we do. These ones do be fluffy though. I do love a good obscurus one. I just think they're really real. Like they look like brows. They look a lot better than my brows if I'm being honest. These are some more obscurus ones as well. Oh, she cute. She do be cute. She's ended up with blue eyes. So I'm gonna keep her eyes blue, but I'm gonna switch them out for some CC magic. Because that's just how I roll. You guys know it. Okay, I like how angular her brows are. That's making me real happy. Also, what hair did it give her? She had black hair, didn't she? I'm pretty sure she had black hair. Okay, so skin details. That's skin detail, yup, babes. What do we got? What do we got for you? Kind of vibing with this, with the nice little eye baggies. We also got... No, we also got... Eh, what else we got? I do love her under eye baggy. I can't help it. They just appeal to me for some reason. I got this one, but it's kind of intense. I don't know. It's an obscurus one. I'm kind of... kind of want do a little bit more skin detail CC shopping to be honest. I'm sort of getting bored of the ones I've got. I feel like I'm using the same skin a little bit too much maybe and I'd kind of like something new. Okay so I'm gonna go for one of my favorites which is the Go Pulse Me Overlay Face Skin version one. It's got a bunch of different versions and I'm gonna go for like these ones because she's uh, monolidded and I want to keep that feature. Also because she's adventurous I'm gonna add on this which is the GS. I don't know who it's by but it's called the GS Skin Overlay but I kind of feel like since she's adventurous she's probably got kind of like you know her skin has that glow about it of somebody that is outside in the sun like doing extreme sports or whatever so i want to give her a little bit of that vibe to her i'm gonna use one of these obscurus overlay mask set nose mask set this is the n2 there is so many to choose from here and they really do like bring out really cute different nose shapes i really like them this one is my favorite but i always use it so i'm gonna go for a different one and i kind of like this nose shape on her you can also make it a little bit darker as well but i like to add that with makeup also because she's adventurous i thought it might be kind of cute to have like a little plaster like she hurt her nose recently so she's got a little plaster on 
on it. This is why I quite like doing these um, traits before I start making Sims now, because I can kind of incorporate them into the Sim a little bit, which I think is kind of nice. I'm debating whether to go kind of freckly again, just because she's like quite an adventurous Sim. And being out in the sun does give you frecks, but I might put it on a different layer. And I just gotta decide on some lashes. I'm not using like really big ones. I just think it suits her to go a bit smaller. And I feel like already we've got like a pretty cute Sim and I can already see her personality coming across too, which is good. I'm gonna swap this out for this because I want her to have that like, I'm adding an extra layer of this GS. Okay, so I don't know why I'm being so detailed this time and what I'm doing. I'm like, you guys must know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so I said I was gonna give her some CC eyes. These are probably some of my favorites. These are the Go Polis Me G16s. She got blue eyes, but they're not the only ones. So I'll, I'll have a little nosy. I'll have a little gander. I also like these ones. I can't remember what these ones are called. Baby cakes or baby face or something. These ones are cute as well. The number 27s. Don't know who made them. Don't know who made them. These ones you see all the time. I use them in my series a bunch. The G11 Go Poles Me. Basically, Go Poles Me makes really good eyes. However, these ones have a bug. You see this line here? I don't know why they have that. It really bothers me. It's probably not a bug. It's probably part of the design, but I don't like it. So to try and hide it, I always put on these eye highlights from PYXIS. So look, it kind of then just makes it look like it's, there's a bit more shine to it. So to me, at least it looks a little bit more realistic. Her lips are crying out for an overlay, crying out. And I'm kind of going to go for this, what I call my chapped lips, these ones here, just because they suit her appearance, which is a little bit like more weathered vibes. In my head, she's probably a snowboarder. Okay, and then I've been really liking this Prawling Sims N38 eyeliner. It adds a little glow to the inside of the eye and also just does the swooshes on top. I think it's really pretty. And then I'm just going to emphasize the bags under her eyes a little bit as well, because I just think she looks she looks more real now. Okay, checks. I'm gonna go for this cute freckles blush from Go Pulls Me just to again emphasize like the slightly more textured skin, which I think is really cute. And that means I get to go on to hair, which I'm really excited about. Okay, <gasps> custom content filters already on. Things we love to see. Okay. So I actually got a bunch of new hairs recently from Wings. And I love Wings hair. I think that's actually some of the best alpha content hair you can get. However, the swatches are kind of not, there's not many unnatural colors. There's not a bunch of colors in there. However, for black hair, it's kind of perfect because we're keeping this in with dark hair and we do have a dark hair swatch. So these are Wings hairs. As you can see, they're all just, oh, not that one, ignore that one. The hairs are just really good. Like they just look amazing to me. Like look, how, how? How are you doing that? That is just kind of low-key wild. Look at that. Like, it's just incredible. It's just like so talented. Like, wow, 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 wow. However, I'm not sure if any of these are right for our similar Rooney here. I'm not sure if she needs a style that's more tied back because she's an adventurous sim. Oh, wow. Okay, this is the hair Rose has from my series. This is the original color swatch of it. So she would still keep her dark hair, but like she just bleached the front. I like that a lot. It's like Jenny Blackpink vibes. Oh, she really suits it pink as well. I mean, I don't have to keep the hair color because it just assigned a random one because I'm even got pink and bald. So I could go for any hair color, really. Hair can be dyed, gangalang. Plus that looks kind of vibey and it brings out her eyes. Okay, blue hair it is. <laughs> it's still black, look at the roots. Technically, we did not cheat. And then we said she's like snowboard vibes, didn't we? Okay, so that top kind of reminds me of snowboarding a little bit. I mean, it has mountains in it. And I can also change the, like the bit around her waist, which is really cool. Harper dress with tied jacket. That's what it's called. So look, I can change this. Oh, it looks kind of cozy like that. <gasps> cozy, love that. Okay, I'm kind of cold right now. So I'm looking at her being like, kind of want some cozy vibes. I'm gonna give her leggings. Cause like I said, cozy vibes. And then I'm gonna give her, I kind of want big warm boots. These are from Snowy Escape. Oh, oh no. Okay, not those. I could give her the snowboarding boots or like the snowshoes. And I think you can clip these into like your snowboard, which fits her because she's a snowboarder, guys. Like we said, like we said. And then finally, I just feel like she probably needs a little bit of facial jewelry. I get nose ring vibes from her. So we'll go ahead and pop one of those on. I wanted to give her a piercing on her lip as well, but her lips are kind of like, because they're a bit of an unusual shape. It's hard to get anything that fits on her lip. Like it seems to go really low on her lip to me. So I might leave that. Kind of like the idea that she's got the little headphones on. And I think we're done with Sierra. So she's a little snowboarder. I think she's ended up really cute. To say it's a random genetics challenge, her face in particular is super adorable. She's got a sticky out forehead like me. Yes. <laughs> and there we go. Let me know what you guys think of her. I think she's really cool though. And I like that she's got a personality coming across as well. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Okay, we're going to do one more real quick. We'll do a boyin this time. Okay, so we've got this super cute Sim here. 
here. Cozy vibes again. I love this. This is Morgan by Toasty Plays. So let's go ahead and add her. She's lost a lot of her stuff. It's fine, don't worry. And then for her husband, Rado. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Let's use my man here. Ulysses Elias by Shalan Four Acres. Shalan Four Acres. Okay, let's go ahead and see what kind of be. Oh, wait, I need to randomize them first. Okay, we'll start with Morgan here. And let's do the same as before. So one, two, three and one two three ears oh wow huge eyes one two three and nose one two three and cheeks one two three and chin one two three i don't even know why i bother doing chin because they won't keep it they'll just get a tiny one one two three okay definitely quite different looking to your original interpretation of morgan i'm sorry about that teeth one, two, three. I, in fact, never looked how our other Sims' teeth looked. I'll have to check that out before we leave. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. My female Sims always seem to end up really scarred when I do this. Okay. And then bod, we will go again. One, two, three. Three. Okay, she's ended up taller than she was before. She went down a little bit for a while. Okay, so there we go. Morgan is done. I think I've randomized everything on her. She do be looking quite different to before. I don't know. I, th I think she still looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and try on a Ulysses. Okay, my man, you, you're a good looking guy. I hope I don't change that too much. One, two, three. Okay, you definitely got a stronger brown out. Your eyes. One, two, three. Three. Okay, well, I actually like those eyes though. Those eyes do be kind of suiting him. Okay, his nose. One, two, three. His nose is, oh, he's got like the little, that nose to me, for, for some reason, it always reminds me of elves. I don't know why. He's got an elfy nose now. One, two, three. Oh, big, beautiful lips. And then I did his brow. Let's do his cheeks. One, two, three. And his jaw. One, two, three. And his chin. One, two, three. This man's beauty refuses to go anywhere. One, two, three. Okay, he ain't changing much. He ain't changing much. For the board, we will go one, two, three. Okay, he's ended up a little bit shorter. Let's do his Tifos. One, two, three. Okay, well, he's got vampire teeth with blood on them. Uh, one, two, three. You can't see much because of his skin details. Cheeks, for some reason, he can't do. Confusing. And one, two, three. And finally, one, two, three. Three. Okay, he's got a little cut lip as well. I mean, you are a vampire. A little schmoil vampire. Okay, let's go ahead and see what these guys create. All of his muscles withered away, I'm afraid. Okay, I'm going to add Morgan to the mix. And then I'm going to go get a peach juice because it takes so long that I can do. It literally takes so long. Two hours later. Ta-da! I told you. Okay, this is iteration one. This will be iteration two. Oh my gosh, I'll finish this cup before we finish this. Okay, and then iteration three. This challenge always scares me want more with the boys than the girls. I can't deny it. What are we going to be working with? Okay. Okay. This is what we're going to be working with. Oh, he's got spiky teeth. Okay, Elias. One, two, three. He's called Jarrett Elias. He is one, two, three. He is active and erratic. Okay. And then one, two, three. Three. He is a homesteader. He wants to be self-sufficient and live off the land. Okay, let's go ahead and take the trash off. Out with the trash, please. Oh, look at that six pack. You do be strong though. You do be strong. I'm going to make you a bit taller just so I can work on you because I don't like it when they're really low. It's kind of annoying. Let's take all of his skin details. Oh, okay. Take all his skin details off. Is everything off? Okay, let's first of all get to work on the brow area. Brows can be shaped so I don't, your brows aren't genetic, you know? Brows are whatever you want them to be. Whatever you make them. I'm struggling to make much of this though. This is why the boys in the genetic challenge scares me, okay? They scare me more. I got the fear when it comes to the manines. Okay, I'm just gonna give him some fuzzies for now while we work out what to do with the rest of him. Can the godskin save him? The godskin details. Where you are? There you are, the N5s. <laughs> Okay, let's see what else we can do. We got good old Vincent here. Mm, what about Arnold? Arnold's okay, I guess. Oh man, this is... This is gonna take all of my CC strength. So let's see what we can do. Okay, I'm gonna try the Godskin, the <laughs> Obscurus N5, but I'm gonna have to employ every trick in the book. I'm doing it because like he's I'm meant to be like a homesteader. So I feel like again, he'd have like, he'd be out working in the garden. They're both outdoorsy this time. So I'm gonna give him some little freckle ruse. I'll give him a bit of color on his cheeks as, as well. Again, he's an outside, an outsidey kind of person. Can't relate personally, but respect his choices. And then I'm gonna go for this N2 again. 
I just want to give his nose a bit more definition. I just feel like it could do with a bit more definition. Okay. He's definitely better than when we started. Let's give him some lashes. I feel like changing his eyes is going to help a lot. So let's just give him some new eyes. <laughs> Real quick now. Just a little, a little eye implant. New technology. Very impressive. Green eyes. Okay. We love a green eye. See, straight away that's better. It's just less like... <sighs> I did used to love those eyes, but they're a bit much for me now. Okay, I think this is a pretty nice medium. I've changed out his eyelids a little bit, which looks better. Just on, I've got an eyelid overlay. Pretty cheeky, right? It just makes the eyelids a little bit more defined, and I kind of like them like that. Before, after. But I'm sort of thinking for him, is it pulling his eyes apart a little bit? Maybe we go without. I'm kind of wondering if I give him a bit more eyelash lash definition underneath. I'm just trying to balance out his face a little bit. I don't know. He's tough. He's tough. We've not been given the best base. So right now he's a bit like, he's a bit Tesco. Every little helps, you know? A little bit of shine help him out. A bit of shine. I'm kind of wondering, his dad had quite strong cheekbone lines. I don't know if it's just already like, he's got a really big head as it is. So I'm not sure if like, I don't know. His head's freaking cute. Huge compared to the size of his body. Let's just put it that way. I don't really know how to claw this guy back. Maybe some little frecks. I'm gonna go for some frecks. Okay. Oh, lips. I need to do his lips. Okay, I'm kind of thinking these ones. And then... Oh. Okay, let's see. Let's see what hair can do. He's a farmer. Maybe I give him some farm hair. Kind of giving me Tarzan vibes now. Oh my gosh, his head is so big. Why is your head so big? Maybe you've got a really big brain. You're gonna big brain this farming situation. I like this hair on him, but I feel like I'm just making his head situation worse. I do. I'm gonna try it just for now though. Maybe give him a little facial hair vibes. There we go. And then I'm gonna try and give him big clothes to balance him out. That is the plan. Okay, maybe it's not the plan. Okay, the plan is in disarray. There is no plan. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Your little eyelashes. What's happening to him? Okay, I'm gonna have to dress him like a farmer because he's a farmer. <laughs> That'll do it. That's why. So I don't have that much leeway here. I'm gonna give him that farm aesthetic. And this is kind of our finished look with good old Joe. Okay, he was not easy, gang. He was not easy. His head to body proportions were all wrong, unfortunately. Also, I need to shrink here. Back down we go. Does he look a bit more in proportion now? No. <laughs> I'm tempted, you know. If you guys remind me about this on Twitter, I'm tempted to upload these onto the gallery. And with the same idea in mind, so Jarrett has to remain as a homesteader who is active and erratic. And Sierra has to stay as a mischievous, outgoing, adventurous vibes. And see what you guys come up with. I want to see if you guys can do something better. Keep, you have to keep their base the same. But uh, I wanted to see her teeth. Oh, teeth are fine. But you can change everything else apart from the base. And if you guys can come up with something that looks better than my results, I want to see them. I do want to see them. So, right on the genetic challenge. It's hard. Okay, it's a tough challenge. This is Jarrett. Here is his finished look. Farmy vibes. Long hair on a farm sounds like a bad idea. It sounds like an accident waiting to happen, but we got it all the same. And then we got Sierra here as well. Snow body vibes. I like her. I think she's pretty cool, to be honest. I can see her out on the slopes doing some little, little 180 no scopes. No, that's not what you do. You, that's not how you snowboard. But you know what I mean. I can see you doing like the little tricks and all that. Like SSX tricky vibes. So let me know what you guys think of them both in the comments below. I encourage you guys to try this challenge because it is really, really fun. If you would like me to upload them so you guys can give their genetics a go, then let me know in the comments below or tweet me. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big cheeky thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.